Mark Kenyon with Wired to Hunt, and the 2011 season is finally here. And it's really been off to a great start. It's now the middle of October, um, but we were kicking things off in late September down in Ohio, and then had a great opening weekend in Michigan. So let's take a look at those past couple weeks, and then I'll show you a little sneak peek of an encounter I had with Six Shooter, um, who's a pretty nice buck in Michigan. But first, let's head to Ohio. He's actually doing any real work. But I'm not really getting paid either. <laughs> So as you can see, we had a really great time in Ohio, despite the slow action, um, but things start off a little bit better in Michigan. So let's take a look now at Dustin, how his summer went so far, progressing up to the first weekend in Michigan, and then we'll take a look at how those first couple sets went. They went pretty well. Hi, my name is Dustin Hodgkin. i am be filming for Wired to Hunt this year. I'm gonna be hunting a family farm here in Southern Michigan. Um, call it the desert. But the main buck I'm looking for right now on the main farming hunt is uh, that 10 point full sneaks. He's going to probably score 135, 138 range. He's got a real short G4 on his right side and short brow tine on his left side. So hurts him a little bit, but uh, he's got real good time link up throughout. Um, good main beams, good mass. So he's a good shooter buck. And the only other buck I've named, I've nicknamed him Looker. Um, hopefully going to let him go. He's about 120 inch 8 point trying to practice what we preach with QDMA and get some bigger bucks in the area. And there's two more bucks on that farm, the desert. Uh, there's two eight points that I haven't named yet. Uh, haven't been able to come up with anything. So 
hopefully if we get one of them down we'll we'll name one before we take him over to the taxidermist so but there's several other farms i'll be hunting um hopefully we'll be hopefully we'll be interviewing next time on the ground after a blood trail Didn't hear a crash, but there's a bean field right out here. She might have made it out of the woods, so. First one season right there. Dustin definitely had a great start to his season, but mine wasn't too bad either. Um, if you've been following the blog at all, you're probably familiar with a buck called Six Shooter. Um, I had a couple really great encounters with him that first weekend. Um, it was definitely exciting and he's now sort of haunting my dreams. So let's take a look back at what those experiences were like and uh, you can finally feast your eyes on the buck we call Six Shooter. So it all began a Sunday morning, somewhere around mm, 10 o'clock. Well, it's the morning of October 2nd. We're sitting in the same spot we were at last night. I bumped a deer right underneath my stand when I walked in. The forks is one of the few places on my property I got up with a north wind, so I'm stuck on it again. I haven't seen much, it's been really, really slow, but hopefully something works out soon. caught a glimmer um, to the right and I looked over there and there was just giant tines and there was this buck I've been calling Six Shooter. He was about 90 yards away and proceeded to kind of mill around and eventually actually bedded down about 90 yards away from me. He's just a stone throw away. I kind of see him. He's in this grass and the grass blows or if he moves ahead you can see his antlers away from me. I watched him for a few hours there until he finally stood up and walked away. Little did I know, he was actually much closer than I thought. Um, a couple hours of sitting there and all of a sudden, right where he was earlier that morning, he stands up. Just over, that way. I figured I better grab my bow as I turned, pulled my bow off the hanger. When I turned around, he was gone again. He goes, I can't know where I've been scanning with my binoculars, but I just can't spot him. But somewhere. finally moved in uh, about 70, 60, 50 yards away and I just about had a shot at him but he, he stepped just out of range behind some branches and out of my life. I, I was able to go back in there Wednesday night with the same wind and actually had an almost identical encounter with him as I did Sunday night. Um, he stood up out of his bed again slowly moved towards me and then passed just out of range. Um, so another close encounter. So since then I've been waiting for the right wind to get back in there and hopefully soon I'll be able to close the deal. Our season definitely got off to a good start and a few of our other teammates in Michigan and Iowa had really great encounters too. So definitely tune in next time to see how their season started and hopefully I'll have some good updates on my end as well with Six Shooter maybe on the ground. October 1st, first time back in the stand again this year. That was exciting. 